So we're here today at the El Shilton Community House um, and it's bringing together all of the community kitchens um, that have been working across the year. Um, thanks to funding through Leicestershire County Council, we were able to offer local residents a 10 week course to help them save, save money by wasting less food. The idea is, is so that people, rather than just push in supermarkets, buy for the sake of buying things, plan the meals and think about storing the food, sell by dates, best before dates and going in with a shopping list to start with. So thinking throughout the week what we want to eat and then just buying off of the shopping list. Um, this has helped a lot of the residents. They've been keeping food diaries and sort of saying how much they've saved money-wise. Um, and today's sort of the celebration of bringing all of that together. I've just been showed this one in the cookery room itself where you put your Christmas dinner into the pastry and then you plait it up and you put it in the oven and it sounds quite nice actually so I'm going to have a dabble at that one. Yeah, a um, big takeout would be um, use whatever bird you're having. If you're having this massive turkey, use the bones to make stock. Um, think of, think of those resources left over from your Christmas meal as a treat rather than a problem um, and please just don't bin it. You know, this is wonderful food, you paid a lot of money for it, don't throw it away. You, you're always preparing and putting things like into one person meals type thing, you know like if the meat's three for ten pound that's good but you need to split it and put it into food bags so that you're just taking out what you need. Um, but it also starts you looking at things seasonally, um, you start looking at food miles, so you become more rounded in how you use food, how you think about food. And the cookbook that's been given away is, is brilliant. It really is basic food that you can make nice and it's really lovely, yeah. And I mean, they're even better because they're free. <laughs> Yeah, so before you set off to the supermarket, write a list, go in and stick to the list. Think of how many people you're cooking dinner for, what sort of size portions that they have, and go in and stick to your list. So don't get diverted by the Christmas aisle full of trees, and stick to a list and meal plan.